Hey everybody, Puzzle Max here. Welcome to my new Twisty Puzzle based YouTube channel. I've been involved in the Twisty Puzzle, aka Rubik's Cube, community for about 15, 16 years now. Um, so I figured I'd give making YouTube videos of tutorials, unboxings, reviews, and maybe help somebody else out down the road. Uh, I kind of got started in this by complete accident. Um, some friends and I back in high school made a weekend trip to the beach that turned into a week-long trip to the beach because of a tropical storm that made its way through. Um, because of that, we were stuck in the hotel room, so couldn't go play on the beach, but we did make a trip to our local Barnes & Noble bookstore. They were all looking for books to read, and I went over to the games and puzzles area and found a Rubik's Cube that came with an instruction book on how to solve it. I'd never played with the puzzle, I'd never really known it was still a thing, um, but figured since I had a week at the beach and I wasn't going to be able to do much else, I'd stay in the hotel room and learn something new. And from there I was hooked. After that week I could solve it on my own in about two minutes, and for the first maybe two years that I was involved, I was focused mostly on speed solving, getting as fast as I could on the main WCA puzzles. But shortly thereafter, solving fast just became kind of boring. I wasn't having much fun doing it, and so I started exploring other twisty puzzle variations that were out there. I was amazed. There were so many things to solve and figure out, and so I started focusing on learning and figuring out new puzzles and growing my collection of unique, non-WCA style puzzles. That's where I've been ever since. My collection has been growing, and... I have a lot of fun figuring out how to make these puzzles work and figuring out why the pieces go where they're supposed to go and how to get them there. So, like I said, this channel is going to be focused on uh, tutorials, unboxings, reviews of new puzzles that I get, and hopefully I can make some of you involved in the community understand how things work and have a lot more fun playing with your puzzles. So, now... I guess I'll introduce you to my twisty puzzles. Welcome to my collection. Just over 100 different puzzles that I've been collecting for many, many years. So, down here I've got your basic cubic puzzles, my 1x1 one one through 12x12, 12 12, always lots of fun. Then there's the Pitcher Octostar, the Sun Cube, the Sun Minx, and the Dion Bagua Cube. Very challenging, but very satisfying. Next up are some of my mix-up cubes and my square one and square two. I didn't really know where else to put those. They kind of fit here, though. Next up, I have my Mega Minx variants, followed by my Time Machine and some other puzzles that solve in kind of the same way. Then I've got my Pyraminx puzzles, and last up is my 2x2 two two through 6x6 six six Morphix puzzle. Down here I've got a couple of spherical puzzles that are just fun to play with. And then my edge turning puzzles. My helicopter cube and then some variations off of that that all solve very differently. My Dion gem puzzles and my Star Manx puzzles. Then these next three shelves all have some corner turners, starting with just the skewb and then going up from there to some very complicated and interesting puzzles. Next up are my cuboids. I've got my 1x1x2 all the way up through my 4x4x6. Then there's my ghost cube and mirror cube variants. And last, I've just got a few extra shape mods and sticker mods. Your eyes do not deceive you. Everything you just saw, the 100 plus puzzles in the last segment, are now 100% scrambled, mixed up, jumbled, ready to be solved. I've always considered playability to be one of the biggest factors when buying new puzzles and figuring out which one I want to have. 
I don't want to get a puzzle and solve it once and then just have it sit on a shelf. I want to enjoy the solve and have reason to pick it up and solve it all the time. So, in order to ensure that I can do that, I enjoy doing bulk scrambles, where I take every puzzle in my collection and scramble them all. It takes me about five and a half hours to do, but when it's all complete, I have a great week, two weeks of lots and lots of fun solves ready to go. So, only thing left to do is solve them. Maybe I'll save that for some future videos.